Hey all dear students, this is Project Shodri, your quantum group. Let's see this very beautiful question of projectile motion from a resonance module of projectile motion. The question states, a stone is thrown in such a manner that it would just hit a bud at the top of a tree and afterwards reach a maximum height double that of the tree. If at the moment of throwing the stone, the bud flies away horizontally with constant velocity and the stone hits the bud after some time, Find the ratio of the horizontal velocity of the stone to that of the bud. So there are two parts of the question. The first part, this is a bud. This bud is sitting on a tree of a height say h. This is a tree of height h. And now the stone is thrown from here. And the stone is thrown in a, with a, such a velocity, with at such an angle, it would just hit. Just fit me, it will just kiss the bud and just will touch the bud and go away. And after touching the bud, it will the stone will reach to a maximum height that is double that of the tree. So stone will reach to uh, this height, say this maximum height is now 2h. That is one situation. And now now the now the stone now if the at the moment of throwing the stone, the moment of throwing the stone, the bud flies horizontally like this but flies like that and the stone is thrown the stone moves like that and the bud flies away horizontally with constant velocity and the stone eventually hits the bud after some time so stone goes like this like this and at the same moment bud flies and it goes like that and stone hits the bud here eventually so if that happens we have to find the ratio of the horizontal velocity of the stone to that of the bud so suppose let me assume that uh, that this is the moment t is equal to 0 from here a stone is thrown and at the same moment this bird flies. A stone reaches from here to here it takes time capital T and the same moment the bird reaches here. So the time of flight of both stone and bird are same that is capital T. And now suppose this is the horizontal component of velocity of the stone that is ux and that will always remain same because horizontal component of the projectile velocity is always constant and the initial component of the vertical velocity is say ui and uh, the constant velocity of the bird with which it flies horizontally is say uh, vb so what we have to find basically we have to find the ratio of the ux to vb so that stone just hits the bud here okay so that's what we have to find now now let me uh, divide the motion of the stone into three parts so from here to here so it takes time t1 and from here to here from this point to this point till it reaches the maximum height takes time t2 and these two points are at the same horizontal level so this is a line of symmetry so time taken from here to here is time taken from here to here so this time will also be t2 so total time of motion total time of motion of either bird or stone is uh, t1 plus 2t2 and now let me mark few important points so suppose this is a point of projection of the stone is say a and this is b and this is c again for the stone suppose stone reaches to the point from where the bird flies but the by the moment it will reach here bird will not be here bird would have gone somewhere else so but when the stone reaches to this point suppose its velocity component horizontal component will always be ux but the vertical component will change suppose now the vertical component here becomes vy hold it now for the motion from a to b for motion from uh, not a to b a to c from the beginning till it reaches to the highest point for this motion uh, time of flight 
this time taken from A to C that is a uh, half the time taken to reach the maximum height that is a uh, u y by g. So from here to here the total time is uh, t1 plus t2. This t1 plus t2 is u y by g that is one thing. And the maximum height it reaches from here to here the maximum height it reaches is 2h that is the maximum height is the uh, ui square divided by 2g ui mean the uh, in component of the initial loss along the vertical direction so maximum height it reaches that is a 2h and 2h is a ui square by 2g that is one thing and now from b to c from b to c this b to c from here to here, time taken is t2 and if I take uh, from b to c so then vy would be the um, initial loss in the y direction. So the time taken from b to c is uh, t2 is equal to vy by g and the height it has risen this height is h this height is 2h so this height is h. So maximum height from B to C is H and that will be the uh, Y component of the initial velocity whole square divided by 2G. So that is a VY square divided by 2G. And now from this, this and this, this is twice of this. So UY square is basically twice of VY square. So uh, UY square is twice of vy square so basically uh, uy is equal to uh, root 2 vy all right and t1 plus t2 is uy by g and t2 is vy by g so if i subtract from here to here i will get t1 so t1 is basically uh, uy minus vy by g u y minus v y by g and from here i can put the u y is equal to root 2 v y so then that would become a uh, root 2 minus 1 into v y by g all right now i can uh, write uh, values of t1 and t2 in terms of v y to get this whole time of flight so you can see here in t1 there is a term of vy by g in t2 there is a term of vy by g so let me take first vy by g common t1 is equal to root 2 minus 1 vy by g so in the bracket that is a root 2 minus 1 and uh, t2 is vy by g but there is a 2 t2 so that is 2 will come here so now i have got this uh, total time of flight is uh, root 2 plus 1 that is a uh, root 2 plus 1 into v y by g this is the whole time of flight and now for this time from here to here the bird has traveled a distance say uh, s b this is the distance traveled or the displacement of the bird for its whole motion and the same sb will also be the horizontal range of the stone from here to the horizontal range from b to suppose you see this is d for b to d motion that is the horizontal range and if i look the motion from b to c the initial velocities are the horizontal is ux and the vertical is vy so we can write uh, the r this is this distance is for the stone this distance is r for b to d for the b to d whatever is the range of the stone that is the displacement of the bird in total time so i can write r r is the horizontal range of the stone from b to d and that is the total displacement of the stone r is basically this is the x direction this is why r is basically twice of uh, 
uh, horizontal component of initial velocity ux and uh, vertical component of initial velocity which is a vy by g this is the horizontal range of the stone from b to d and displacement of the bird the bird is moving with the velocity vb and it flies for the time t so that would be a vb into t and put the value of t that we have obtained so that is a root 2 plus 1 first type writing t vy by g and there is a vb then and see on both sides uh, this uh, vy is here vy and vy will get cancelled g is here g is here that will get cancelled so now we have come to our final result that is a ux by uh, vb and this is a root 2 plus 1 on rhs from lhs 2 will come and that will go to the denominator of the next side so that will be a 1 by root 2 plus 1 by 2 that will be our answer.